Across the state in recent weeks, COVID-19 cases have been trending downward, including here in Sumter. The area, once considered high risk, now has a moderately high incidence rate, according to recent data from DHEC, which still means there's a cause for concern, but they're trending in the right direction. At Colonial Healthcare in town. We're seeing a lot less sick people. I think we have a lot of hope right now over in Sumter that, that we're doing a good job with this. Dr. Clay Lauder says he's seen the pressure lighten up over the last couple of weeks. We were up to 200 to 250 drive-through tests a day a day um, and then it seems like the last two weeks it's really fallen off. Prisma Health says they're also seeing a decrease in COVID-19 patients across their system. State health officials say mask wearing has contributed to the drop in cases, but there's still work to do. More testing is needed and everyone should be practicing social distancing and avoiding large gatherings to reduce the spread. We're really, really concerned about flu and corona together. We don't know what that's going to look like. We're worried if you get flu and then corona and your immune system's weak, um, that it's a risk. We're encouraging flu shots right now. Right now. We also checked in with the Sumter School District, which plans to start virtually this Friday. They're monitoring the cases and say they'll reevaluate every two weeks from the start of school to decide when it's appropriate for students to return in person. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.